Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some ATCs that I've made using the stickers, the chipboard adhesive stickers that I purchased recently from Cheryl Simone Crafts and it was the Hortensia range of stickers. So I took the picture stickers rather than the ones with words on and added them to the centre of each of the ATCs. Um, relatively straightforward to do, just stick the stickers. I did add some extra glue just to make sure that, that they did stick, stick well. And I wanted to use the same theme for all six and sort of keep them together as a six to maybe use for a round robin ATC swap or something like that in the near future. So the background for each of the ATCs was using a paper that I got um, in a bundle with a magazine recently. Um, so quite a plain background, muted colours with some script. Nice, just perfect for backgrounds really. And I just coloured each of them round the edges with the Distress Oxide ink and my blender brush. And just give them each a slightly different colour. I use a tiny wee stamp that I have in different greens. I used one of my, let me show you my green. I used the Versa colour rainforest multi sort of greens. I really like this. It picks up lots of different greens just to use for the little leaves round the outside. I die cut the word bloom. I don't have a lot of die cuts. Um, I do like the die cut words. So I just use different coloured cards. Some of it was glossy card. This one wasn't. I ran out of, of different colours. I just wanted to keep the same sort of colour theme on each ATC. I die cut some little butterflies and then put some gems into the centre of the butterflies. But the new technique that is brand new to me um, for these and my husband had to help me with this was the eyelets. Now I ordered the eyelets off, I think it was Amazon and they're the wrong ones. I think they are, this is the box that came. They are ones I think for fabric or for different material other than card. So my husband helped me with his hammer to actually get these in place. I think the holes are too big. I did just use a hole punch, a regular hole punch to get the holes. Got the eyelets and the backs in, as you can see. But the holes are too big. The eyelets need to be a lot smaller. I've ordered some more in the, in the post. But I really wanted to do something to dangle off each ATC because I've never done that and I've seen it on other people's ATCs and I think it looks looks gorgeous so I've got a lot of beads I used to make my own jewellery quite a few years ago and I've got a massive box full of lots of little similar boxes to this full of beads Um, so I wanted I thought it's nice to actually start using them again I mean I I wasn't great at making jewellery. I was okay at making beaded bracelets. That seems to be the only thing I made. But when it came to making earrings and things like that, it was quite tricky with the pliers. Because to make, to actually construct the dangly, I used these little safety pin light bulb. I don't know what they call them, but I've, I've, saw, I've seen them on a video of somebody else's and thought, I really like them. So I went ahead and bought a box full of lots of different coloured ones, which I really like. They're really nice. Well, plenty of use out of those. And I just try and colour coordinate it so there's a purple one on the ATC that's got the purple theme. And I just used this, which obviously is part of making jewellery. I don't know what they call it, whether it's a finding. I don't know what they call them. But it's just got a, a flat end on there to stop the beads from coming off and I just threaded them on and then my husband helped me with my pliers to just turn 
the end make a little loop to thread it onto the eyelet onto the, the clip to then thread through the eyelet okay, so as you can see there's each one's got different colored beads but as i said they're too big because afterwards i realized that it's actually cutting into the, the writing on the back but never mind lesson learned it's the first time of trying it and I'm pleased with the overall effect. It's what the effect I wanted to create with, with the eyelet in the corner because I think that just adds something to the ATC that's different that I've never done before. So I'm really pleased with those and I just edged them in black sharpie. I just feel like that's, that finishes it off nicely. So as I say, I think I'll probably keep them together as a set, hopefully for a round robin. Um, but as you can see, I did practice a wee bit on this piece of card with the holes. So I think once the new eyelets come that I've ordered, and I saw Woolly Steph using a tool to make the hole, and it was a smaller hole. I think it was something a memory keeper, um, cropper dial. I think she called it. I've ordered one of those off Amazon. So. I should become an expert at doing eyelets in the, in the future. But there we go. Those are my ATCs. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.